Okay, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna make a 15 pound batch. This time, this is my 15 pound slab mold. Hannah's wiping out the liner. This one is gonna be pumpkin apple butter. I am using a vanilla stabilizer. Um, the bottom is gonna be an orange. And then I'm gonna use one of these tools. We're gonna scrape it out and then put a brown on top. And then tomorrow we're gonna frost it. Um, there is the fragrance. It is sitting on the stabilizer. You should do this about 10 minutes before you make the soap. So, as soon as she's done, we'll get started. Okay, so in here I have my liquid oils and I'm going to add to it my goat's milk and buttermilk. Okay, and then I'm going to let that set just like it is. I'm not going to stir it or anything so that the oils can absorb into the milk powder. And then I put my kaolin clay and color stabilizer in with the fragrance and i decided to add in some pumpkin seed powder my niece and her mother are arguing it's fun to watch because her mom can't hear and boy she could hear <laughs> just joking okay so this gives us this nice brownie nutmeg color, but we're going to make this one orange. And then, yeah. So I don't think I'm going to add the stick blender to this and mix it up really quick and see what color we get. Okay, so that's the color that we got with it. I'm still going to go ahead and try and cover it orange. So I'm going to use a little atomic orange I nurture. Hear the puppy? He misses me. Mm -hmm. Of coconut oil over here. Good for a sin. She gets some red out like that. All right, so now let's just push this in and then I'm just. Yeah! Totally 5%. 5%. Okay, I'm gonna give this a blitz and I'll come back. Okay, so this is the orange that we got. It's actually a darker orange, I'm showing it up on camera. Kinda like a burnt orange. Maybe that's a slight. Now we're gonna get the hard oils ready and then we're gonna mix it all together and then have some fun with these frosting um, scrapers. Okay guys, so in my 12 quart pot, stainless steel, I have my lye water mixed in on my hard oils to melt them down. And I'm just gonna stir these um, until I get some chunks that won't dissolve anymore and then I'll stick blend them. And the liquid color, uh, liquid oils we have are colored. So we're just gonna do that. You wanna get that hooked up to the stick blender? Sure. Hold this like this. So I also added in pumpkin seed powder. Pumpkin is really good for rejuvenating your skin. Yay. 
looks and looks. Stirs and stirs. Now the red hot jello that we just did is sitting over there and it's at 115 degrees. So I'm gonna say those are gonna gel. Alright, now I'm gonna take the stick blender. sure you have as much of it on as you possibly can. That can cause chunks in your, your sight. Alright, Hannah, you want to add in the orange? Do I need to make it hit this thing? If you can, if not, just be careful. Know why you put it on there? Why? So it doesn't get air bubbles. It's even prettier when you pour it. Uh -huh. You want me to scrape? Gotta make sure you get all of it. a little bit thicker and then we're going to bring the mold and pour it in. Now we're going to pour the orange in, pour it into the center. I need both. Mm -mm. Then we're gonna scrape our pan out, get it all in there. I'm gonna top it down and then we'll come back when it's ready to scrape. Okay, so now we're gonna scrape the soap. Um, I'm gonna need a spatula, I think. What do you think? Does that look good? It looks very good. So then you gotta line it up again. Great. Higgins. Oh boy. Okay, I need the spatula in front of you. Did I get it all? Mm hmm Higgins. Okay. And then we're going to take a spatula and clean up the sides. Hold on, baby. a mica line. So she's going to put a little of that in here. Yeah, I found it, Mom. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle it, try and keep it off the sides. Just sprinkling it down. And you can tell when um, you have enough because it'll look like the soap's absorbing it. Once it starts to look powdery, you know you have too much and you could get um, your layers to separate. So, I'm going to go finish doing this. I'm going to get the puppy and try and help him. I don't know what his problem is. And I will make Beautiful. It. Don't mind the divot. I'm not going to fix it either. But the sides are clean. So now we're going to go and make our next layer. Let's go. Okay. 